Hello, today we're going to focus on multiplying fractions. In this problem here, we have 1 fourth times 4 sevenths. They used an area model to solve this. Now, as a review, when we have an area model, our first task is to look at the first fraction given to us, which is 1 fourth. What this person did is broke this square into four equal pieces, and then in pink, shaded in 1 fourth. Now in the other direction, they broke this square into sevens, which is showing me that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equal pieces. However, in this lighter purple, they shaded in four equal pieces representing four sevenths. Now the overlap area, which I'm going to highlight here, which is this other shade of purple, that is my answer here. Now notice I have four pieces here in my answer. That's the piece of my fraction. But now we're looking at this whole square I have, which is now broken into 28 equal pieces, which is what my denominator is to this answer. So now notice here you can use this area model to help you when solving. Where there is overlap, that is your answer. So the answer to this problem is 4 28ths. In this problem here, we have 1 third times 1 half. The first thing this person did was took 1 third and broke this square into 1, 2, 3 equal pieces. But notice again in this light pink, they shaded in this entire piece representing 1 third. Now in the other direction, this square was broken into two equal pieces representing one half. Now in this purple here, this is one half that was shaded in. And my overlap is this other shade of purple here, which is my answer. Now notice I only have one piece. That's my numerator. But my denominator now is I'm going to look at this entire square and see how many pieces I have. Now I have six equal pieces, which is my denominator. So the answer to my problem here of one third times one half equals one sixth. Now we're gonna try drawing this area model on our own. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use red to represent three eighths. So what I'm first gonna do is in one direction, I'm going to break this square into eight equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines for eight equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in three pieces representing three eighths. And here is my three eighths in red. Now I'm going to do in blue, I'm going to represent one half. So now in my other direction, I'm going to just draw one line, breaking this square into one and then two equal pieces. Now my goal here is now to shade in one half. So right here, this is whole entire piece that I'm shading in represents one half, which is in blue. Now in yellow, I'm going to highlight where I see my overlap. Where does the blue and the red meet? So right in this region here, I notice I see blue and red. And this overlap is gonna represent my answer. So now at this overlap, I have one, two, three pieces. And now as I look at my entire square, I see that I now have 16 equal pieces and that's going to be my denominator. This visual model here is helping me to represent my answer. Where there is overlap is where my answer is. Now let's try one more. So I'm gonna also do it in red again. We have two sixth. My denominator is six, which is telling me I'm first going to break this square into six equal pieces. Now, obviously I'm trying my best to break this into six equal pieces. I encourage you to draw this on scrap paper as well and practice shading. You can grab a highlighter, color pencil, crayons to help you shade this in. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six equal pieces. Now I'm going to shade in 
1 sixth and 2 sixths. Now in blue, I'm going to shade in 1 fifth. But the first thing I need to do is break this into five equal pieces in the opposite direction. So one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. So I have one, two, three, four, five equal pieces. And now in blue, I'm just going to shade in one fifth. Now, my goal is to identify where do I see any overlap where the blue and the red meet. In this region here is where I do see blue and red. I notice there's only two pieces with overlap. That's my numerator. Now I'm going to look at this entire square, and if I count each individual piece here, I'm going to find that I get 30 pieces that I now broke that square into. So the answer to this multiplication problem is simply 2 thirtieths. And I know that because this overlap area is 2 thirtieths, which is the answer to my problem. Now, you are welcome to continue drawing visual models, but many of you might have picked up on a pattern that you noticed. If we multiply my numerators, all you need to do is multiply your numerators and multiply your denominators to find the answer to the problem. Many of you might have noticed, such as in this previous problem, 2 times 1 was 2, which was my numerator. And 6 times 5 is 30, which was my denominator. You are welcome to continue drawing visual models, or you can simply just multiply. You choose what works best for you. Now, my numerators here are 1 times 1, which is 1. My denominators here are 2 and 4. So all I'm going to do is do 2 times 4, which is 8. And the answer to my problem is 1 eighth. For this next problem here, I first identify my numerators, which are 3 and 1. I can simply do 3 times 1, which is 3. If I look at my denominators, they are 4 and 2. 4 times 2 is 8. And the answer to this multiplication problem is 3 eighths. Now, in this problem here, it says, of the baseball caps in a store, two-thirds of the caps are blue. Of all the blue baseball caps, four-sevenths are on sale. What fraction of the baseball caps in the store are blue and on sale? So our goal right now is to take two-thirds of the baseball caps, which are blue, and we're going to multiply this by 4 sevenths. Now, you are welcome to draw a visual model or an area model to help you determine this. You can also multiply your numerators. 2 times 4 is 8, and 3 times 7 is 21. And I notice here that answer choice D is 8 21st, and that is the answer to this problem. That is telling me that the fraction of baseball caps in the store that are blue and on sale is 8 21st. So for today's activities, you are welcome to draw visual models. You are welcome to multiply fractions, whatever way works best for you. However, it is important to understand that these area models are here to help you explore and determine where those answers came from. That is how we got those answers, and those area models help describe that and show you where we get those answers from. As always, you are welcome to refer back to this video at any time to help you with today's activities.